Hello, it's Dr. Triple O Seven. In today's video, I'll be doing a video review of a program called Circle Doc. Circle Doc is a program that kind of sits on your desktop and allows you to put applications on it, and it basically is a circular overall spiral doc for Windows. Here's a picture of it. You can kind of tell. You can put it in different orientations so that it looks different. That's the basic one. If you go ahead to the link below the uh, sourceforge.net slash product slash search doc, you can go ahead and download the file from right here. And it'll give you a little countdown if you click on, click on it and it starts to download. It's a small uh, 12 megabyte file, so it shouldn't take you too long to download. And it's just about opening up. So once we open it up, we can go ahead and extract the files to our desktop or wherever you would like to. And here we have, uh, it doesn't have to be installed, so that's pretty nice because now you can put it wherever you want. So you can put it in your desktop, you can put it in your documents, whatever. And then you can go ahead and open it. To open it, just open up the circle.exe right here. It opens pretty much instantly, and you can see it is working. So to test it out, we will... Uh, try and put some stuff on it. So here, here I have Google Chrome. By dropping it there, you can see Google Chrome has now been added. By uh, kind of putting it, you, the icon disappears, you can tell it's being ready to put there. So I'm going to put like a couple of icons here. Oh, let's do that. There How much stuff filling up here with a bunch of icons. And we'll, we'll see what happens when I uh, fill this up. So as you can tell, as I fill it up, it gets a little smaller and smaller. Now if I was to right click on it, we have uh, some options here. We have the hide, add, blank icon, doc folder, um, icon replacement, or we can go into the settings. So in the settings, we have uh, some different options. We have the general stuff, which is the enabled doc rotation, um, probability mode, mem memory saver, which is just probably going to uh, allow your, so it doesn't use too much memory. The Z level, this is going to be, I would suggest saying the always on the bottom. That way, it doesn't uh, go over Windows. So when you open stuff, it goes over that. Also in the settings, we have some dock shapes. So we can go to circle, or we can change the circle. We can go to background, and it has a default background. But if we wanted to, we could change the background. As you can tell, they have some blank. They already have some ones for us. So we can click on one of them. And then it will change, as you can tell. Center button, we can change the center button. So we can uh, put like a Adobe icon, for example. Or if you have a favorite one, then you can go ahead and do that too. So for example, let's say I wanted to do this uh, home. And you can tell, it's been changed to the home button. Also, I can change the... Um, how much it goes see through and the size. Dock items here we have some icon sizes as you can tell you can kind of like scratch them all, scrunch them all sorry, um, or you can just go really small and how much they're see through. So you can put them like this if you'd like. And the labels we have just the labels that come like that. The animations we have uh, frame rate, or, uh, rotation animation, fade in, fade out, location, and you can lock it, toggling. We have uh, just some file and stuff like your documents, and then we have the language. That's about it though. So, as you guys can tell, it's a pretty uh, useful program. If you were to put it with a good wallpaper, you can put it right in the middle of your desktop and instantly open stuff. Um, very easily and like I said before it's a great program it's something to put on your desktop if you'd like to you can put your icons there and hide them and it kind of gives you a cool alternative to just click on desktop icons it is also faster than click on a normal desktop icon because you only have to click on the icon once for it to open whereas before on the desktop you got to double click if you want this program to run um, 
right from the beginning. All you have to do is put the exe file in the, which is this one right here, uh, create a shortcut for it, and then put that in the startup folder, and that will automatically start for you. Anyways, guys, that's about it for this video. You can go ahead again to the link below, which will give you to the sourceforge.net slash project slash circle doc, which will give you the latest download for this program. Anyways, guys, that is about it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in my next video. This is Hacker 0 7 and I'm signing off.